Welcome back to round three. We are, th uh, sorry, not 3-0 and yet. We're 2-0 and in the finals. Uh, we've won the die roll, so let's play first. Uh, uh, two lands. We've got a turn one and a turn two play, and then very expensive stuff after that. Plus it's a planes. I'll risk it. I probably should not, though. But we'll see how it goes. Just drop our rats and pass the turn. Because, of course, I'm in a situation now where I need to draw lands and I need to draw stuff. Well, we drew a death wind so we can blow up a 1-1, one -one, I suppose. I will play this Carsey Sadist with no exploit, I think. Yeah, just for no exploit. Certainly not going to exploit my rats, and I don't necessarily want to exploit him. Green-white, eh? Herald of Dromoka. So, a 2-2 Vigilance. Well, I bet I can attack him with Typhoid Rats here. Oh, he's going to trade. Alright. Be my guest. drop my fancy shambling goblin and pass the turn. Missing a land drop, unfortunately. Gonna be in some trouble soon. Frontier Mastodon, sure thing. Not good. Not good. Well, when our land gets, or when our deck gets mana screwed, it sure gets mana screwed. Plays a morph, sure thing, that's fine by me. He's gonna swing in. Interesting. I'll block with the goblin and kill the mastodon. Hits him for one, and then minus one, minus one. Well, we get a land at least. So now we can Deathwind for two. We can kill that morph. He's going to Soul Summons as well. Don't think he'll attack. I mean, it technically a free attack if he wants to. No, so let's just kill that morph. There's a couple of things it could be that he could save it. Well, actually, no. No, I don't think there is. Anox Survivalist. So, he could have unmorphed it, but yeah, it still would have died. So that's fine. Uh, still no land. We get a reduced in stature. Don't necessarily want to use that on the manifest, though. A morph. I'll probably use it on the morph, I suppose. Butcher's Glee, eh? You know what? I'll just pass the turn, keep Butcher's Glee up. It's turn seven? Oh. Uh, it's a mist of Kirin. All right, that's a problem. So we probably will need to reduce in stature that next turn. Turn seven, three lands. Awesome. He gets in for three, that's fine. Drops a sand step outcast, he'll make a spirit. get a land, so I'm slowly getting closer to Reach of Shadows and such. Uh, for now, we're just going to reduce in stature the Mist Hoof Kirin, pass the turn, probably take 
Oh yeah, it's got a counter on it too, so it's still a 1-3 flyer. We're going to take two in the air, sure thing. He's flooding out just as much as we're getting screwed. So we've got Contradict and Reach of Shadows online now. And with one land, we'll have Deathfang and Pristine Skywise online. So things could start to get better here. I will take the two again. Probably counter whatever he plays here. It's not going to play anything, so we get to kill something. And I think that something's going to be the outcast. There's the land. So we've got a 6-4 or a 4-4. Four four. Uh, let's go with the 4-4 four four first. <clears throat> That's going to stop his flyers pretty darn handily. Might draw some removal, but then of course we've got a 6-4 to back it up. Yet another morph. Yeesh. So he's got a single card in hand now, and no attacks. So that's what I like to see. Well, I'm going to come in for four, see what he says about that. He's just going to take it. So I'll follow that up with Pristine Skywise. So I've got ten in the air now, compared to his two. So this morph might get on morph now. It would suck if it was Hidden Dragon Slayer. I feel like if it was, it would have happened right there, though. He's going to come in. I'll block with the Sadist. Either force him to on morph or make it just be a blank attack. And he's going to play Salt Road Quartermaster. Okay. Sure thing. Um, he's got no cards in hand, so I'm gonna fly in for ten. I don't think he'll be willing to go for five. Go to five. Maybe he will. Who knows? Yeah, he's willing to go for, go to five. So I'll let that happen. Hold up, contradict. Wait, what's happening here? Oh, is he moving counters? He's gonna put them on that morph, eh? a giant dragon of some sort that I'm going to be looking at. He's going to come in with all of those, eh? Well, I'll block the morph. He's going to on-morph it. It is a flying lifelink dragon. All right. Sure thing. So, what can I do about that? He's going to go up to 11. I'll just let it die. But what next? But what next? I think we'll just hold up Butcher's Glee. Black one, two. Which leaves me with four. So perhaps I will Zephyr Scribe. and pass the turn. So that 6-6 six, six can come in if it wants to, but I'll block and kill it and regen off of it. So 
He's got two cards in hand. Ten of his lands are out. Wow. So he's only missed three land drops. I've missed six. So with Butcher's Glee, we can protect Skywise. We can give it pro whatever it needs to be pro of. Next turn, we'll have Contradict up, plus lootable, Lootability. Probably stop playing lands, loot away lands that we get. He plays a land, so he does only have a single card in hand. And no attacks, all right. Sounds good. So, I will just pass the turn. <laughs> Leave up Contradict and Butcher's Glee, plus Zephyr Scribe. A little bit of lag there. He's going to cast Dragon Hunter. Alright. Um, yeah. I guess I can't really let that happen, can I? <laughs> So, I will loot with the Zephyr Scribe. Holy triggers. So yeah, I'm going to loot with Zephyr Scribe. Throw away that swamp. Pristine Skywise is going to get pro-white. Zephyr Scribe's going to untap. Contradict. Draw a card. Goodbye that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I can Foul Tongue Invocation next turn. He'll sack something, probably the Manifest, I don't know. Um, I've got a Dragon, so I'm going to gain some life off of it. Zephyr Scribe, I will tap. Discard that Swamp. Give Pristine Skywise Pro White. So it can fly through if I want. He would probably then snap back for six himself. So. I think I'll do it. I think I'll get in for six here. Take him to five. I can do some things with Butcher's Glee to kill off that Shield Hide Dragon if he does decide to attack with it. He drops another land. A dozen of his lands are out. Alright, so he is going to come in with Shield Hide, so I'm going to block with Death Fang. And I'm going to Butcher's Glee it. So he'll gain six, I'll gain six. Give Pristine Skywise Pro White. Kill the dragon, I'm going to go up to 22. He's going to drop what? A morph. I'll loot. See what we get. We get Merciless Executioner. Well, it's not too shabby. Let's throw away that lore master. Um, I'm gonna loot because I'm gonna sack that scribe. So Merciless Executioner sack the scribe. He's gonna have to sack two creatures. And then I can't bounce, unfortunately. 
but I can just swing in for 10, which seems pretty fine. He's going to unmorph. Airy Bowmasters. 4 5, sure. So he's going to block the 4 4. Well, let's give it Death Touch plus 1 plus 2. Pristine Skywise, Pro White on Tap It. Clear board, nothing in his hand, feeling pretty good. Hell of a comeback. <laughs> And we got it. Wow. Wow, our deck fired on all cylinders there once we got our lands going. That was pretty good. Um, I don't know if I want to make any changes, really. Yeah. I think we just go right back in and see if we can do it again. So let's do it. All right, we're back for game two, and uh, this is not a keeper. We've got a single land, so mulligan for sure. No lands, mulligan for sure. Three lands, I guess. I guess. So we're down to five. That's unfortunate. Turn one, Dragon Hunter. All right. Well, at least my turn one goblin will keep it there. And we could actually sack the goblin, kill the Dragon Hunter next turn. So that's not terrible. Coming straight in. All right. Well, yeah, no, I guess he wants to just trade with it. All right. I don't get that, but okay. Anox Survivalist, sure thing. Well, let's drop the Carsey Sadist, no exploit, and hold off that Anox Survivalist for the time being. Next turn we Zephyr Scribe and we're left with a single card in our hand. Good times. Frontier Mastodon, sure thing. He ain't gonna attack. Ooh, Rakshasa Gravecrawler. Grave Caller, rather. Need a couple of lands for that to happen. So I don't know if we're gonna be looting too much with that scribe. Ooh, is he stuck on lands, maybe? I'll actually trade, because I can't really afford to loot all that much. Misses a land. Cool. Down comes a morph. Could be that shield hide dragon. Uh, so, frankly, just in case, I think we're going to kill it right now. Uh, it was just another Anox Rivalist, okay. Alright, just need a land and I'll get the Grave Caller out. He's still on three, it looks like. Yet another morph. So maybe that's the Shield Hide Dragon. What is Shield Hide? White, white, five, I think? Oh, there's our land, so let's do it. Grave collar, exploit the sadist, get a couple of zombies. And now I've got a board going. Now I just need to not flood out. Gets his fourth land. Down comes Airy Bowmasters. Okay, that's gonna hold things off, unfortunately. Need a butcher's glee, a coat and venom, something. Swamp. Now let's just pass the turn then. Top decking either of my dragons would be nice. Are you a warrior? I bet you are. Oh no, shaman. Another land. Alright, let's pass the turn. We came back so well from such a terrible five. No attacks. Pass us the turn. Yet another land. I'll pass the turn. Now, you know what? I'll play that swamp. He's 
gonna on morph another airy bowmasters, okay. Yeesh. Frontier Mastodon, that's gonna get a counter. Uh, he's gonna start going too wide for me. Oh, come on. Nine of my lands. There's seven left in the deck. Or, sorry. Uh, Eleven left. <laughs> Wait, math. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are eight left in the deck. Well, Falatong Invocation's not the best. <laughs> not when he's got a board looking like that. Goodbye, Anox Survivalist, or Herald of Tremoka, maybe. So now that's got to be the shield hide, right? White, white, one, two, three, four. So one more land and shield hide's going to flip up. And then we're... Yeah, there we go. Here it comes. Do, 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 do. Oh. oh, come on. Erish and Sovereign. We're, we're in a bad spot. Reach. I could kill it. And it would go right back on top of his library. I mean, we might do it. Buy ourselves a turn. Let's see what his plan is, though. His plan is to attack with a lot of things. So, we could... We could block, block, block kill, take seven? Sure, why not? They could just unmorph that. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're dead. I mean, we're so far behind. There's nothing we can draw to compete with this board, unfortunately. So he's going to have a 4-5, a 3-4, and a 4-5 left. And I'm going to have a 3-6. And he's got a 6-6 six, six dragon on top. And I bet we have a land on top. Of course we do. So I can block that and take 7, going to 6. Four, eight, nine, ten. There are 7 lands left. Down comes the Sovereign again, and <laughs> yay, a Typhoid Rat, so we could... Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. That's super unfortunate. We had a bad starting five, and wow, did we come back, but boy, did he ever curve out. Wow, did he ever curve out. Um, I almost... Con or wait, that's Foul of Tongue Shriek, not Invocation. Never mind. Um, I think we just go back in, and we try not to fall apart like that. I will play first. Uh, not keepable, unfortunately. Hey, look at that. It's the story of our night. Not keepable. Keepable, I guess, because there's two black one drops. Well, it was a good run, but I think we're done. I do believe we're done. Super bad luck here at the end, unfortunately. Yeah, five drops not going to help us with one land. Get in for one. Play a Typhoid Rat to pass the turn. <clears throat> hey, hey, no two drop. Awesome. Land. All right, I guess. Swing in for two, take him to 17. Top decking an island would be okay, I suppose. And there's Morph. Now we're in trouble. Coat with Venom, eh? Swing it. He's gonna block the rats. I'm gonna give them dub double death touch and uh, let them survive this. One of his Anox survivalists, sure thing. Yeah, he's hitting his lands, we're dead. Frontier Mastodon, that's a bit of a problem. 
Floss the Dragon Hunter. No, Glaring Aegis. Yay. That is a 4-5 Mastodon. And that is not a land. So we're going to pass the turn. So a Dromoka? <laughs> yeah, we're dead. We are beyond dead. Yep, super dead. Super duper dead. So Dromoka is going to come in as a 7-7. Seven, seven. So we're going to go to 13, and then we're going to go to 6. Down to 13. <laughs> Sand step outcast, so we're going to actually get hit for uh, 8 in the air next turn. Taking us to 5. Oh, more stuff. Yeah, sure. Play it all. Why not? <laughs> I'm going to death wind his spirit. Because I can. I would expect him to just come in with all. I'm obviously not in this game, in, in this game anymore, unfortunately. Alright, is that just lethal... Probably not. Uh, let's block the Mastodon. Let's block there. Take 11. Kill the Manifest. <laughs> sure. Why not? So that's lethal. Is it ever? Is it ever? Our next land was many turns away. Well, that sucked, unfortunately. We had an extremely good run with that deck. I think it was a really solid deck. Uh, we just got flooded and screwed, uh, respectively, in games two and game three. Hopefully you enjoyed that, though. I enjoyed playing that. It was a pretty good start. Two and one's totally fine by me. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, let me know in the comments below. You can also find me on Twitter, at the Manaleek. That's L-E-E-K, like the vegetable, not the card. You can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash themanaleek. You've already found me here on YouTube, uh, so if you you know, like the videos, you can click those little thumbs up icons. You should also subscribe to my channel. There's a button uh, below the video, and there's also a button in the outro of each video. That'll keep you up to date on all the latest crack -a pack Tuesdays, Wacky Wednesdays, Spiky Saturdays, and any other special videos that pop up here and there. It also lets me reach more viewers, of course. As always, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time.